Hello, hello, my people. It's a beautiful Saturday here in my country. So, guys, this is your girl again, Peshwari. In case you're new, don't forget to don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share my video and please do comment. So, guys, in today's video, I visited some orphans' kids. These three kids are orphans. They don't have a dad. They don't have a mom. But they are living with their old grandma. Their grandma is very, very old. She just stay inside the house all the time because she can't uh, start the cold outside, the, the dust and everything. So she just stay at home. And so these kids have to take care of them, themselves and also have to take care of their old grandma who is uh, living with them. So as you can see, guys, this is the daily routine of these kids. Every day they have to do all the house chores after they have come back from school. They do study, they do go to school. And so uh, when they are back at home, they have to make sure the compound is clean. They have to wash their school uniform. They have to clean the utensils. And also they have to feed the goats they have for their grandma. And also they have to prepare for their supper, what they will eat. And also take care of their old grandma because they have to wash the grandma feet and everything. Because as I told you, she is very old. So guys, this is their daily routine. This is the goat of the of of our grandma here. The boy has to make sure the goats are full before going to to school and af and after school. He has to make sure that the goats are full because this is what the grandma sell when she need the school fee for these kids. This is how she makes the school fee for the kids. She's, she feed these goats and then after they give birth, she sells uh, the young ones and get the school fee for these kids. So the kids have to take care of this goat very, very well because this is what makes them eat and go to school. It is their source of income. That's why they have to take good care of them. You can see now it's time for the goats to take water. And then after that, it's time to cut some firewood so that they can prepare a food for them and the grandma. These kids' parents died when they are very young. They were very, very young. They were still very young when their mom uh, died and because the only family they had was their grandma. Though she was very old, they didn't have anywhere else to go but live with their old grandma. It's actually nice that they are also taking care of this grandma but sometimes it's a struggle for them all because unless uh, the grandma... Uh, people come to visit her and give them the food. Sometimes they do go angry because grandma doesn't have a job. She can't go to farm. So most of the time, it's the time that the well-wishers, the church, uh, people who come to visit grandma, bring them foods and clothes. You can see the young one also know how to put on fire. So it's time for them to cook. And now she is preparing uh, to put on fire so that she can cook something for their siblings and the grandma. This is how we do it, guys, in our village. This is how we put on fire. We don't have gas or anything but just fire and this is how we cook you can see the kitchen it's well arranged this is where they arrange their firewoods 
goglet through this gate because they are very well arranged. This is how they put their fire oats up there so that the kitchen won't be messy. They just put on fire oats up there and also when it's rain the, the, the fire won't be wet. You can see this is how we put on fire. She is trying to brew it so that it can if it's not work with your air yeah, you use this pan. This is how we use this uh, to brew our fire. I hope guys you can learn something from our African village drive. Africa, Kenya, Village Drive. And that's all for today, guys. Love you.